Welcome to HopPray.tv. For those who have subscribed, I say a big thank you. And if you've not subscribed, please take a moment to click on that notification icon bell below so you can be the first to get alerts when videos are uploaded. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, of course, you know, is actually dragging the president to court and he has demanded 500 million and a written apology from an aide to President Mohamed Buhari on social media, Loretta Onoche, for spreading lies capable of damaging his reputation. Let's look at what she actually wrote. That is Loretta Onoche. I think if you're in the sensitive position as she is, the spokesperson for Buhari, uh, you need to substantiate your claims. You need to have certain proofs before you go out on social media to just voice out certain stuff. If you are just doing this to score a political point, you know the implications of all of these things. And um, it's so amazing how people can easily turn. I mean, change their stand once they are being paid, bribed, or given a position in politics in Nigeria, probably all over the world. But I'm speaking now of Nigeria. You see a person that speaks against an administration. Once they are given a portion in that administration and they know they are getting their own no kind of money from that same administration you see how quick they begin to support the administration and speak so nice and so good about this administration that they were against initially so what has changed is it that the position that they have been given has changed or money has passed hands let's look at what loretta onoche the spokesperson for buari's administration what she said uh, what she tweeted that caused all this uproar this is our official Twitter handle. Here she writes, article on United Arab Emirates watch list security sources. So here she continues, says security operatives in the United Arab Emirates, UAE, are keeping a close tab on a former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who has been in the Middle East nation for several weeks now. What is he doing there? Me, shopping for terrorists. So based on her position as a spokesperson, she's actually saying, our own opinion, shopping for terrorists. And this has not gone down well with Atiko Abubakar. Of course, who is going to accept this kind of thing? Does she have proof to this effect? Does she have proof to this information that she's sharing out there? Or she's being paid to do this? Or she's just doing this out of mere, um, you know, stupidity? Or she's actually tweeting truth? that she might want to substantiate later. Uh, anyway, Atiku Abubakar is demanding for 500 million naira and a written apology. The letter is quite lengthy, so I'm just going to flip through it. Here it's, um, let's, let, I'm going to read it in part. It said, we have our client's instruction to demand and we hereby demand from you the following, that you publish and tender a written retraction and apology for the said libelous publication in six national daily circulating in Nigeria and one international daily as well as on social media platforms wherein the said publication was made that you pay to our client through the firm the sum of 500 million only representing minimal damages to assuage its already battered image only because caused by your said defamatory publication. Take notice that if you fail or refuse to accede to our modest demands within the next 48 hours from the date of this letter, we shall be compelled to activate the full weight of the legal machinery against you without any further recourse to you. We shall be in such a suit claiming against you the sum of 2 billion naira representing exemplary aggravated and punitive damages. Onoche, who has been Buhari's aide for three years, has been known to attack persons who criticize the president. Last year, she described the Christian Association of Nigeria as can of worms for saying the president has not been fair to Christians. She was also exposed by setting groups a coalition of 50 media houses for posting fake photographs alleged of the pdp's presidential rally where money was packaged with food and handed over to attendees so now you can understand how complex this is it's um, basically the same kind of um 
I attack you, you're not part of our group. Then once they leave the group, probably the political party, you see them speaking differently in a new tongue. But in this case, is Atiku going to really push this further? Or this is just one of those things where they say, oh, you have to pay this amount of money for what you have done. The damage that they claim she has done and um, cyberbullying being part of the accusation that is being leveled against her. Is this going to go, you know, just be, is, is this just going to be a noise and afterwards it's going to be buried? Is this case not just going to pass the roof? Whatever this is going to be, I don't know. Probably Atiku is just going to step down on this case. Is, is Atiku going to be apologized to in private? Is this going not to, is this not going to be put out there in public anymore? We will find out about this, but I know that the battle is drawn like they are really angry. That is PDP and they are ready to do just anything at the moment. And um, the 500 million naira that she's being asked to pay, is she going to take this to court? Of course, she has the weight of the, you know, I think the backing, I mean, of the political party that she belongs to APC which is the ruling party of course you're going to get a lawyer that is going to go to the court to say this probably she's going to say okay I'm going to take this off from the social media but then they might decide to settle this you know without much uh, publications and I don't think any of these politicians have a clean head they are either involved with this or that and if you come out and you are going to post something like someone is being you know watched is on a watch list is it to defame the def, no is it defamation of character are you are you trying to do um the beatings of your masters if she has been told to do this job or she's just doing this out of her own volition doing this just by her own self without you know any agenda i mean party agenda why would she post this kind of information outside does she have proof to this effect does she have proof to what she has just said that is what we don't know but let's see how this develops since um she is being you know issued this and um next she'll be charged to court if articles team are going to push this and definitely they may want to push this because they are being hurt they are angry that um pdp is not presently in power and apc is just there and apc is not ready to leave well the party actually does not mean anything at the end of this sometime because when you see them they turn they change from one party to the other and change the kind of music that they sing that is what the politics in nigeria has become loretta onoche special assistant to the president on social media let's see how she's going to respond is she going to apologize retract and um, pay the damages that um the they have accused her of Oftentimes, political parties throw jabs at each other here and there. They say certain things against each other to score political points. In this case, I don't know how severe this issue will become. I don't know if she will be actually dragged to court about this defamation and cyberbullying and all these allegations that have been pushed on her. And um, the same thing that she has put on Atiku, calling Atiku um, a terrorist, based on her own opinion. Of course, we have freedom of speech, but to what extent the court will have to decide this if he, if this issue has to get to court and where she'll be charged two billion error and not the 500 million error and an apology and if this allegation that loretta is putting out there is true that will have a serious national implication and if it is not true then it will it could have serious legal implications on loretta herself and um, the chambers that represent article further said to say our client is shopping for terrorists is not only dishonest and reckless but is calculated and politically designed to instigate security agents against him not only in the united arab emirate but across the world that is part of the what the lawyer that is the the, the representative that is mike ozokome chambers that is part of the things that he wrote in this lengthy you know so they said all these things out and they want a retraction apology and all of that we'll see how this will turn out to be do not forget once again to click on that red subscribe button and also the red icon bell which signifies notifications whenever videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by